up guys I'm gonna show you how to unbrick the light on 83850C you can't really see it that well it's a uh, HW version A0A2 manufactured July 2009 now what I was trying to do I was trying to put my original firmware onto the drive um, when all of a sudden I, uh, I tried doing it I put right it said it was done and now now that it's done look what happens I'm going to turn it off close it no response right this is so easy how to fix I was going to the lengths of uh, I burned two Xbox 360 mod discs I was trying to mess around with that messing around with DOS putting in all these commands and nothing was working for me but this is the little secret how you freaking fix this little thing all you need is jungle flasher I'm using 1.69 and your connectivity kit well, the re well I don't know if you really need the connectivity kit but I use it just because it's so easy to put on and power on and power off otherwise you're probably gonna have troubles anyways it says a uh, no drive detected no drive detected right I was messing around I go intro I was like damn what the hell it says if you wish to read well anyways that doesn't work I was like damn I was just running out of freaking things to do but all you do is click light on erase how easy is that? Click light on erase. First of all, it's going to say like no drive detected, uh, 0x, whatever. See, it's basically saying nothing's here. Nothing's being detected. But all you do is, oh yeah. First, make sure, I guess, your drive is uh, open halfway. You have to open it manually. You put something right here. Just push it. And then you push that. And then open it, I guess, all the way. I don't really know if you have to open it all the way since it's not even responding. And then turn it off. I'm not even sure if that really does anything. But I'm going to do it anyways. There. So now we go and look, click light on erase. How easy is that? And then it says target hasn't been spoofed. I don't care. Uh, make sure you have the key. I don't care. It's not even responding. Alright, this is why I say it's good to have a connectivity kit because you have to power it on and off. Now, I'm going to click yes. I'm going to wait till like three or four dots. I'm going to power it on and off again. I'm going to do this fast. So, click yes. On. Off. See that? Oh my gosh, I actually got something. First, well, it's saying drive in bedroom mode now. Holy hell, I thought a drive wasn't detected. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. <sighs> now that that's done, I'm basically not going to try to freaking put the original firmware. I'm just going to uh, open target firmware. I'm just going to put the latest uh, iXtreme on here, which is uh, 1.61 for my light on. And I'm going to basically uh, copy the spoof the target so it copies my key make sure the key is right um I don't really know if there's a difference V2 alright so there I copy the target after I copy it I'm gonna go ahead and write and magic it's writing and I was messing around with all these DOS commands and I didn't even know my own port and nothing was working look at that it's writing and it said it wasn't even, it said drive wasn't even there. And I'm going to go ahead and read. And look at that. It's reading. I'm not even going to save that. I'm going to put no. I'm going to put outro. And as soon as I do outro, oh my gosh, it did, <laughs> it says my drive is there. Let me see what happens. There you go, guys. Hope I helped you out. Leave some comments if you want. I don't care if you subscribe. But I hope this video helped me out because it was took me a hell of a long time to figure it out. When it, would, when it was really easy, all you did was click the light on erase. 
Alright, well this is regret and I'm out.